Welcome to the Weil and I Farmer's Market Podcast. On this show, twice a month, we highlight and take a deep dive to get to know one of our 350 vendors of the number one market in the state of Indiana. Here's where we tell the stories that you won't hear anywhere else. I'm Adam Reno from Influencer.tv, and this show is powered by Solar Bros. For more information regarding your roof and a better option to save money on your electric bill, Go to the description of this show and click the link for more information. And now, let's start the show. Today, we're talking to Nicole Jennings, the market assistant. Okay, and how long have you been doing that? I have been, I volunteered with the market from 19, up 2019. <laughs> it to, feels like 19. <laughs> yeah, exactly. From 2019, and then I got hired on in May of 2022. So two years I've been the assistant. Sure. Okay. And are you from Fort Wayne originally? I was what? born here, but I grew up in San Diego and in August we'll be back 21 years. Okay. Wow. Okay. Now, real quick side note. Oh, and who are who else are we joined by today oh, that you may hear? You may hear my daughter. Say yep. hi, Kalia. Can you say hi? <laughs> hi. Hi. <laughs> Maybe the microphone picks her up. Maybe not. But nope. she's here with us. Um <laughs> So now real quick side note, because I'm curious how we sometimes um, make fun of you for being a Green Bay Packer fan. I'm curious, just real quick, how did you become Green Bay if you're here in San Diego? What does the Packers have okay, to do? So 1998, the Packers in Denver played at, uh, I forget what it was. I think it was Qualcomm Stadium. And I actually worked that game i worked at qualcomm that was my first job oh. so i worked for the san diego packers the san diego chargers and that was the year that the packers the super bowl was there i didn't get to see any of the game they were really strict about that but their oh. fans were just amazing and i just got on the bad wagon and been and been ever a, since yep okay so from working they didn't win but, <laughs> but it so it has nothing to do with necessarily Green Bay per se or just anything. It was just that was the team. And then but you stuck with them the whole time. I've always. Yeah. OK. Just side note. I was just curious. <laughs> and it's like, well, now's the time to ask so that everyone yeah. can know now. OK. Um, that's an interesting reason. Um, but at least you stuck stuck with them. Yeah. I'm not I'm not a. Yeah. Die hard. <laughs> if they win, lose. I don't really care. Yeah. You're with them still no matter what. OK. So. Um, you've been back now in Fort Wayne for quite some time. You're basically from here at yeah. this point. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what else do you? I know you don't just do stuff at the market. So, what else do you do on your day to day? So during the week, I work for the bread guy with Zach and Hillary. I'm a baker, so I help them make their breads and bagels and. Very cool. And so, make sure, guys, if you have not seen the episode with uh zach uh circle back into the playlist and look for zach the bread guy he that was a pretty fun episode so he's hilarious and take a look back at all the episodes really at that point but zach was a really good one so he's your boss <laughs> so cool a cool boss he, oh, right? he is we, we laugh on the daily we there it's never a dull moment yeah no that's awesome um, okay, so you uh, work with the bread guy, and yes, if you're wondering and you just have no idea what we're talking about, that is literally the name. name. It's not like, well, what's the real company? No, it's the bread guy. The bread guy. Which, again, you have to get into that episode if you want to know why he's called that. But, okay, so you do that, and then let's go through with the market. How did you – you you must have – I just assume this. You must have come to the market like – as a patron before, right? Or did or how did you I had never been to the YL and I farmers market. Okay. I was following a vendor from Johnny Appleseed to their winter market. Oh. And towards March, April, and I would say the old Ford soap, I was following them. They had put a sign up saying the YL and I farmers market needed volunteers and, and you're like, What's that? Exactly. Like at the time I had a son away at college. I had a, a, a sophomore in high school. I wasn't felt as needed as a mom, and I wanted to fill my time. Sure. 
So I'm like, sure, why not? Way out of my comfort zone. I almost did not go. Almost did not go. Oh. And uh, but as soon as I met Ashley and started helping out, I started signing up more and more Just and more. And so what did you do first? Uh, just help set up, take the the A frames out, set up. Uh, this was in the winter, or no? Uh, this was, was in uh, May, so it was the start of the summer. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so yeah, and kind of just help out, kind of. Yeah, where we at actually. that time we went around and did counts every half hour, every hour. Gotcha. Just set out tables and stuff. We weren't as big. We were just on Bar Street or not around. Sure. Just a cup on Barry. As you see now, when you come to the market, like it's just take we're slowly taking over the entire block, an entire couple blocks. Like it's pretty cool, which we'll get into that a little bit later. So I want to ask you then. So then were you thinking from the first couple weeks that you would be involved as much as what you are now? Or were you trying were you just thinking okay, this is kind of cool. We'll just kind of see how it goes. Right, yeah. It was just, uh, I just needed something to free up my time on Saturdays. And I was like, you know, I love to volunteer. I volunteered for my kids' at school all the time. I volunteer for races. I've done like the Vera Bradley race and I fought for yeah. fitness and stuff. So I, I just love volunteering. This was up your alley, but you didn't know it would be it, like, yeah. engulf your life now right right it's exactly like, it's a big part I mean, yeah i never in a million years would i think five years down would i be the assistant and just yeah. loving every single minute of it yeah you really do a, a lot like um it's hard to even sometimes we we lovingly joke like oh but like really there isn't just one thing that you do like right there's more like 17 yeah right it's well, just I mean, like, like saturday i felt like at one point it was three different people but yeah i mean i help show people where they go i rent out tables and chairs and now we have charging stations um mm. sell the sweatshirts and the and the yeah. t-shirts and the bags <laughs> yes kalia you you like to help too don't you mm -hmm. um uh I I write down notes. Ashley will be like, remember this. Email right. me about that. That's what I see a lot. <laughs> and that's why I say there's 17 things because we'll be walking through or I might be trying to take a picture or video or do something and I'll just see you guys walk by and she'll be like, oh, email me this as like a reminder. Yeah. And it could be the most random thing, mm -hmm. but like you're in charge of it. And yeah. then like at that time that she's saying that, Someone will come up to you and be like, "Oh, can I buy a Wild and I uh, farmers market hoodie?" Yeah. And you're like, "Uh, okay, cash or charge." Like, you yeah. know. So you're doing that at the same time, and then a vendor has a question like, "Oh, hey, I thought I was gonna have power. I don't have power. Where do, where should I go?" And you're right. like, "Hold on, you'll be at B17 or right. whatever." Right, right. <laughs> like, yes, you exactly. know, and that's just in a, in a 45 second span, you could do all those things. It is a very much yes, and then you know, walking down the street and just seeing everybody start setting up and it's just we have some of the most creative vendors i couldn't yeah. imagine half the time like i couldn't even imagine right but. right that's funny um so what's what's something else that on a saturday what is something that you look forward to the most because it's a lot of time you have to get up early yeah. It's not always the most fun, but what is something that you're like, okay, but this makes it worth it? The, the vendors. Yeah. See, um, I mean, it's really like a family. The, it is, I have to get up at like 4, 30, 4, 45, usually 4, 5, 6 day in a row. Yeah. And I'm just like, but then I get up and, and I'm so excited to drive there and I'm like, okay, who's playing today the music right right oh mm -hmm. i need to get you know i need to get some candy or i need to stop and get you know uh earrings i love earrings yeah uh, yep, you're always wearing something I, yep yeah, so. yeah the vendors do make it like so worth it because this year we have new food trucks and I'm like oh, can't wait to try them yeah all the new vendors all the new food trucks just the newness of it is always 
exciting when you get started and you know now we've been rolling for a little bit and you've and it's not your first year doing it so it's like but the vendors truly always make it like yeah. a family thing where you see the same vendors um you get to know some of the newer ones find out oh i know you through that person or because it's fort wayne yeah. right so um tell me a story that comes to mind with either helping set up or like just certain things that have happened in your time where it may stick out to you like, yeah, I remember when this happened, I thought that was really cool in your time of helping. Um, uh, so um, it would be me and my son. My son Kellen was coming down because we were going to work uh, Three Rivers Festival afterwards, so he mm -hmm. came down and helped us, and so um, one of our vendors needed help setting up and taking down, and so Kellen helped with that, and now he asks, like, almost every time I see him oh. about my son. Yeah. And it, it, it truly, you know, we care about people. Right, right. Yeah, that's exactly what I was, I was looking for. Um, and I know someone's getting... A little bit antsy. Antsy, antsy in the pantsy. So, you are you ready for the last question that I ask everybody? Yeah. Yes. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, it is, let's pretend that our new mayor has this asked you. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> no, I mean that we have a new mayor. I know, I know. Um, so, let's pretend that she has asked you to come up with a sign that everyone can see it'll either be flown or it'll be on a in the whole fort wayne can see it and it doesn't have to be necessarily for bread or for the market two things that are big in your life it doesn't necessarily have to be but it, it's your call though it's your thing what would you want it to say um Get out and run. I love to run. I love to bike. Just uh, we have amazing parks, so get out we and do. visit the different parks and just get out. And From Fort promenade Wayne. to I mean the River Greenway, right? Yeah, All I over. do the I mean, Puffer Belly Trail up on um, up north, and it's it's awesome. There's <laughs> just so much to see. Say hi. Can you say, say hi? Say hi. 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 And can you wave? Can you wave? Do you see? Right. Do you see, see yourself? See, ma see mommy? I don't know if she sees it. Little camera? No. <laughs> got nothing. So, um, <laughs> what what is something that you want to tell um, new vendors, maybe if they're listening? Um, don't be afraid to ask for help. Our our veteran vendors love to help. They love giving advice. Don't be afraid to ask questions or ask for help. Yeah. That is what we're there for. Big time. And Nicole's the one to see every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. me. I got colorful hair. And she's always cold, so even in the uh, yeah. summer, she'll, have, she'll be the one Especially this weekend. It's only going to be in the 60s, <laughs> so I'll probably have, like, three jackets on. Yeah. So uh, every, 9 a every Saturday, 9 a.m. to 1, 1 p.m., if you have questions, honestly, if you can't find anyone else at all, just know that Nicole will have the answer is basically it. So and thank if I you. don't, I know how to find it. <laughs> exactly. So see her. All right. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Wild and I Farmer's Market Podcast. Remember, the most fun way to watch is on YouTube. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so that you can be notified when new episodes drop. A big special thanks to our sponsors, the Solar Brothers. For more information on how you can save money on your energy bill, give them a call at 833 765-2276. Also, 260 Roofing. For a free estimate on your roof, call them at area code 260-800-3031. Remember, for more information on the Wild and I Farmers Market, you can always follow us on our Instagram and Facebook page at Wild and I Farmers Market. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.